Uh, there is no human being on the planet who loves presidential sites more than I do. Uh, I usually don't make flat statements, but I can make that with some confidence. Uh, one unintended consequence, I've got two sons who are now 13 and 16, and whether they liked it or not, they were taken to many presidential sites themselves from the age of about three. Uh, our older boy, I took to Monticello when he was five. We've taken both of them on a trip uh, to various Lewis and Clark sites, not presidential. Some of them have been each summer, not because I need them to become historians, but because I'd love them to love what I love. And it has worked more or less, although they would tell you that sometimes when they hear me for the 99th time rhapsodizing about the excitement of presidential sites, uh, they're not entirely persuaded. And the look on their faces sort of reminds me of uh, LBJ was once talking to a famous economist. I have to clean this up slightly, but only slightly, uh, as one does with many of President Johnson's private conversations, and don't, don't I know it. Uh, Johnson said to the economist, who was brilliant but not necessarily compelling, he said, you know, Professor, problem is when you talk about economics, it's like peeing down your leg. Seems hot to you, but not to anybody else. And, uh, <laughs> Sometimes when I'm trying to tell my kids about presidential sites, I sort of figure that that's their attitude. Uh, but I'm doing my best, and I thank all of you for helping me do it. Uh, I guess the place to start, uh, I am doing what I'm doing because of a presidential site, and that is uh, I grew up in Illinois. How many here from Illinois? Just me? After Governor Blagojevich, no one will admit to coming from Illinois. Uh, but in Illinois, it's almost a, a religious requirement that at least was when I was growing up that your parents take you to the Lincoln sites in Springfield. Maybe a little bit less so now, but I was growing up, uh, I was, I guess, seven in 1963, and it was the time of the Civil War centennial, and you know, even more were people thinking about Lincoln and the Civil War. So my parents took me down to Springfield and took me to the Lincoln House, uh, 8th and Jackson Streets in Springfield. And the thing I mainly remember is I was taken into the parlor, I and my little brother who's two years younger, and the guide said, here's the chair in which President Lincoln read to his ch children. And I wish I could report to you that I asked him about Lincoln's views on civil liberties or something like that. But in fact, what I said was, something a little bit more interesting to me at the time. Sir, when Lincoln's boys were naughty, did he spank them? And as our member of the guide said with a disgusted look, no, Lincoln didn't believe in discipline. He let those brats run wild through this house. <laughs> and I heard that, and as soon as I heard that, Lincoln was the man for me. I began reading <laughs> everything I could find on Lincoln, and there was a lot, and then began to read about other presidents, and so, my children would roll their eyes at this too, but I've wanted to write books about presidents since I was 10 years old, and that would not have happened if I had not had that experience at, at a presidential site. 